As mobile cameras become increasingly more powerful, we're able to capture detailed and vivid images right on our phones. They say the best camera is the one that you have with you, and your mobile phone can do some pretty powerful things when it comes to photography. So let's capture some mobile photos, we'll quickly transfer those photos from our phone into Photo Raw, and we'll use Photo Raw's powerful and innovative features to quickly turn those mobile shots into professional looking images. So when it comes to the photographs that I captured for this video with my phone, I just went to a local park nearby. There's this beautiful river and a bridge over it. There were some birds floating in the water. It was just an awesome scene. And really you could capture awesome mobile photos anywhere. I'm in my backyard where I could easily get some, some great mobile shots, but I figured I'd just trek out a little bit. It's a nice sunny day. And I was just sort of thinking about awesome tips that you can use for mobile photography. And I just wanted to mention three so that we could you know, jump into the transferring of the files and get into the editing. But I figured it'd be awesome to talk about just a few mobile photography tips before you go out and capture some mobile imagery, just to ensure that you're getting those stunning, you know, professional looking photographs even before you edit them. So my first tip would be to try to shoot with a level camera. And an easy way to ensure you're capturing a level photograph is to use the grid on your mobile camera. Now I'm using On One Photo Raw for mobile and it's really easy to access the grid. There's a menu at the top or the left, depending on how your camera is oriented. You can select that, it will open up a little menu and at the top of that is the grid icon. You can just tap that and it will turn on the grid and you can use this to ensure that your images are nice and level and everything is straight. Second tip for mobile photography is to capture those images in RAW. When you're capturing with RAW, you have much more data and much more ability later on to modify those tones and those colors in that photo. To modify the file type in On One Photo RAW for mobile, just head up to that same menu and select that file icon, and then you can modify whether you want a JPEG, RAW, or HEIC. The next and last mobile photography tip I wanted to mention before we jump into the, the editing and the creation of the final product is to capture from different angles. When you're using your phone, it's very, very small and it's really easy to move around and maneuver and put under things and so on and so forth. So I just recommend trying different various angles for a bunch of different types of photographs and I guarantee one of those images will be the one that you were looking for out in the field. So let's jump into transferring these images from our mobile phone into On One Photo Raw. It's a breeze. Let's check it out. Now let's take these images from our mobile phone, transfer them into Photo Raw, and we can get creative with the look. So inside of On One Photo Raw for mobile here, I'm just going to go into those local photos that I was capturing earlier today. And at the top right, there's the select option. I'm going to select that, and I'm going to tap on a couple of these images that I really like. And I'm going to go up to this menu at the top right, I'm going to select that, and I'm going to choose Add to Album. And I've created an album called Mobile Photos here, and I'm going to select that. It's going to add those into it, and this album is actually synced up to my On One Cloud Sync. So now let's jump into On One Photo Raw. Now we're inside of Photo Raw, and to access those mobile photographs, let's just head over here to our albums and any album over here with this cloud sync icon next to it, you can quickly access on your desktop and see all of those mobile photos. So I'm just going to choose mobile photos here and there's all of those, those images that we wanted to add into that album. And now we can access them inside of Photo Raw. I'll just select this one to the right. It's probably my favorite one out of the bunch. And let's head into the edit module. And when it comes to mobile photographs, they're quite processed already in a way because the exposure is already auto, you know, basically everything in that image is pretty auto as far as the tone and color goes. So you're going to get a well exposed image and the color is going to be nice and vibrant. So we're probably not going to do too much to the tone and color of the image, but this image needs some cropping. And I think we could add in a nice cinematic glow to the water to give it a bit more oomph and a bit more interest. So let's first crop the image. I'll hit C on the keyboard. I'll just straighten it out a bit. I'll hit enter. And now let's go into the develop tab. 
I'm just going to give it a little bit more contrast here. And by giving it contrast, I'm going to hold down the J key just to ensure that I don't have too much true black in my image. That blue overlay there, that's showing me all of that true black. And I want a little bit, but I don't want a ton. So I think that's about perfect right there. Now I'll just pull up a little bit on my midtones, give the image a bit more life. And I think that's all I'm going to do in the develop tab. If I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, it's incredibly subtle, but just sort of gives it a bit more contrast and texture and gives it a bit more brightness in these midtones. Now let's go into the effects tab here. I'm gonna add a filter and I'm gonna add a glow filter. The reason I like the glow filter is because I have water here on this foreground and it's a bit rigid. And because I'm using my phone, I wasn't able to get that silky smooth long exposure water. So this glow filter just allows me to blur that that texture and that water a bit and give it a bit more of a dramatic feel. So let's choose this darker preset. And I'm really liking how that's looking already, but we don't want this applied up here to the top because it gives our sky sort of a unnatural feel. I just want it applied down here on the water. So I'm gonna hit M on my keyboard and I'll just drop this down in the middle so that it removes that effect from the top area of the photo. So if we turn this off and on now, I'm really enjoying that glow on the bottom. One thing I think we could do is maybe just tone down some of these blues. It's a bit blue in the scene because of all of the blues in the sky. So let's add a filter and we'll add our color balance or our color enhancer filter, sorry. We'll use the color enhancer filter. We'll go down to our color range here. We'll choose blue and I'll just lower the saturation all the way down and then just incrementally pull it up until I get a much more natural looking blue. I think around negative 25 is, is pretty good for this shot. I think any more is a little bit too, too heavy. Well, maybe around negative 20. So we turn this off and on now. Just remove some of that really intense blue color from the shot. So now that we've modified the color, we've added in that, that glow, I think the image is ready to share. And one thing I wanted to do with this photograph is I wanted to print it on some nice luster paper and see if we can't show off that beautiful color and texture in this photo. And a great tool to use for printing or resizing or anything like that is Resize AI. And now it's integrated into Photo Raw, so it makes it incredibly easy to incorporate that into your workflow. Let's go over to Resize AI. And I'm going to head over here to these presets and I'm going to choose Epson resin coded and I'll just choose eight by 10. It's going to want me to crop a little bit on the edges because the crop ratio is smaller than my image, which is totally fine. Let's just hit enter on the keyboard and everything looks great. We've cropped it to the dimensions that we want. Now all we have to do is go to print and now in the print dialog here, I've chosen my printer. I'm using letter paper, nice eight and a half by 11 paper. And I'm actually going to go down to my print area and I'm going to choose fill. I don't want fit or eight by 10. I just want to fill that paper up. So I'll choose fill there. Everything, everything looks great. So let's just choose print. And after I sent it to the printer, we have the final product here. We have our photograph. This is a mobile photo. This is just on letter size, uh, super luster paper. Maybe a bit hard to see, but I think it's looking, it looks really good. And that's how you can create professional imagery using your mobile phone and on one photo raw.